Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another exciting video. As you can see, I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and will be performing a Genshin Impact FPS test. This test is geared to helping consumers get an idea of the current performance of the iPhone 13 Pro Max with this specific game. Again, Genshin isn't a benchmark and should not be considered as such. Genshin Impact is known to have optimization issues and therefore isn't a reflection of the device's true performance. With that being said, as usual, I will include a real-time FPS overlay for those interested in watching this test. I'll also show FPS, GPU, power consumption, and device temperature averages at the end of this video. Be sure to definitely check this out. Last, I did also want to note that I did conduct this test in 25 Celsius ambient temperature for those who are interested. Again, thanks for watching and see you at the end of this video. So this is a day in the life of the Traveler. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time.
Now let's look at these results. Starting with FPS, this device averaged 59 FPS after almost 11 minutes of gaming in max settings. This is insane performance, especially for the Inazuma region, which is way more demanding than other regions. As many of you all know, this amazing performance won't last forever as Genshin is still a very demanding application. However, the iPhone 13 Pro Max so far is the only smartphone that can maintain close to 60 FPS after 11 minutes of testing. Even the iPhone 12 Pro Max starts to throttle after 4-5 to five minutes of testing in the Inazuma region. Now back to this iPhone 13 Pro Max, performance does typically drop for this device to the low 50s and high 40 FPS range after 15-20 to 20 minutes of gaming. Now moving on to the GPU performance, the iPhone 13 Pro Max averages around 76% of GPU usage during gaming. This is amazing. For reference, the iPhone 12 Pro Max typically uses around 90% of GPU usage in the Inazuma region. The A15 is definitely a powerhouse. Now, if we look at the power consumption, we are seeing the same power consumption as the iPhone 12 Pro Max as both devices uses around 5 watts of power in Genshin Impact. Last, as we look at this device temperature, we can see the iPhone 13 Pro Max average around 29 Celsius, which again is phenomenal. This device peaks at 33 Celsius during the end of the 11 minutes of gameplay. In conclusion, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is a powerhouse. So far, this is the only smartphone with no cooling attachments capable of pushing close to 60 FPS for this long. I'm definitely excited to continue testing the performance of this A15 Bionic chip housed in this iPhone. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe as I have many upcoming gaming and benchmark tests for this iPhone 13 Pro Max, iPad Mini 6, and the regular base iPad. Thank you again for watching. Please stay safe and see you next time.